Block by block, street by street, a new piece of technology is tracking crime in Troy. Police have launched a new crime mapping website to help residents see what's going on and where. Our Craig Smith tested the website. He joins us live outside the Troy Police Department. So, Craig, the question is, how easy or how hard is it? It looks pretty simple to me, Craig. Uh, I would say that if you're familiar with shopping online, you'd be able to navigate your way through this web page and find all the information you want to find and all the information police want to share with you. It's fairly simple. When I looked at it tonight, uh, we were finding a few areas around town, uh, around Carroll Place. There seemed to be a recent spike in residential burglaries up around the Griswold Heights area. That's where we found a woman who credits her dogs with possibly saving her personal belongings. Small dogs, big voices, big enough maybe to scare off a burglar. Alice Cleland came home last week to find a strange cigarette lighter, her window screens up, and gates left open. But that's all. There was nothing taken at my house. I figured they might have gotten startled and scared when uh, I have three dogs, and I figured the dogs might have, you know, protected me. At least four other homes in that area were also burglarized in the last two weeks. They show up on the new mapping system you can see on your own computer. I'm hoping it uh, really engages the community to be more aware of the, the, the crime events that are occurring in their neighborhood, as well as becoming more cognizant in, in about uh, the incidents in the city generally. And so it's, it's a great way for people to become involved and see the data in real time almost. There's a three-day lag that's supposed to help protect information critical to investigations. Click on green icons to see thefts blue for residential burglaries and red for aggravated assaults. You will not find domestics nor sexual assaults. But our registered sex offenders are included on the map. The purple icons will show you where they are, giving a clearer picture than what the state registry offers. I feel that's a huge benefit to the folks. They don't have to rely on, on the New York State website and just hope they know of an address or that sounds like it might be from around here. This allows us to bring up every single sex offender living in the city just with uh, one keystroke. I went on the site today when I had heard about it and checked it out and it, leaks, it leaks, makes people aware of what's going on in their community and it alerts them if there's any crime spree going on or things to be aware of okay. and be secure as best we can. Many police departments across the country use this. It's free software offered by a firm called Bear Software as a public service, according to Captain Cooney. It won't tell you everything that is known about any given crime. It'll tell you where it happened and what the type of crime was and the location. You can search by offender. You can search by date. It's expected to be a very useful tool for people here in Troy. We're live in Troy. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.